What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. Welcome back to a bit more of Rugby 22. Today uh, I thought what we'd be taking a little bit of a look at will be the training. Now when we did the first original game uh, it does sort of automatically make you play the training, go through the tutorials, all the new mechanics, all the new stuff going on. Now I did cut that out of the original game just to, just to save a bit of length of time but I thought some people may actually be genuinely interested. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go on to the training. I'm going to splice back to the first ever training because it's not fun just to watch so on complete training flawlessly, you want to see me fail a little bit, and uh, <laughs> I certainly did that quite a lot. So what we'll do, we'll head over to the training, and you guys can see how they break down for you all of the testing, all of the new mechanics for things like lineouts, scrums, malls, all that fun stuff. So let's swap over to there, and you guys can see my first attempt at doing all of the training. Moving, okay, looks good. Oh, we've actually got training to begin with. I thought we did. I leave it on tutorial. I thought I just press for it to, to play normally. Uh, move up the pitch and pass the ball to avoid the mannequins as long as you hold down. Oh, okay, yes, this used to be in rugby 20. I mean, it would help if it went to the uh, the player's hand. I just passed the wrong way. Brilliant. <laughs> this is how you mess up a tutorial, guys. Right, let's <laughs> let's do it properly. Here we go. Go into the middle, giving myself the most room. And the final one, there we go, and we will get over for the line. Yes, that was absolutely terrible. I was not expecting to do that. Oh, we've got to do it again. Wonderful. Well, oh, a bit too far. <laughs> but it looks like they've actually fixed the uh, the passing system a little bit. This is what they used to have in the Rugby 20 beta, and I feel it worked a lot better than the final game, the judgment of passing, uh, of how far you're passing and which player you're passing to. In, in the final release of Rugby 20, I did find that this used to... Um, sort of stop working with the distance of passing, and instead it just passed to whoever was next to you. Uh, okay, looks like we're going to do some probably long and short passes this time, I imagine. Oh, th oh the double miss pass. Now we're showing off. The triple miss pass. <laughs> okay, double miss pass. Let's see if we can go through the middle there. Yes, we can. Over to here. And a little inside ball. Nice one. And then I assume we're going very long. Oh, oh, I like the player ducks out the way. That's a cool animation. Okay, there's there's some positive stuff to be taken away from here. Okay, we're going to be going through the uh, the tackling, the tutorial. Play B, press B, sorry, at the right uh, to the opposing tackler. Okay, I mean, I did think that I had... Uh... Okay. <laughs> it's really weird, no one's sprinting. I didn't miss him. I absolutely nailed him. Okay, there we go. Um, right, yeah, I did think I'd skip the tutorial, but it looks like it's going to make me do all this anyway. Um, I might just cut all this out and make this into a separate video. This was originally... Can I... Oh, barely got there. There we go. It's actually swapped players for me now. If you miss the first player, for some reason it continues selecting you as that player rather than moving you to the next new player. Weird. Probably not what they intended to do. We'll quickly run across here. Whoosh, take a seat. <laughs> We're back on top now. Right, let's, uh, I love this volume just a little bit because it's a little bit quiet now. Uh, when a ruck forms, press B to bring a player in. Okay. This seems like a weird tutorial. Yes, press B to get them in. Cool. Uh, you can bring two players at the same time by holding B. Okay. So they have changed this mechanic a bit, which is quite nice, um, in order to actually change up the rucks. The rucks used to be a little bit broken in uh, in Rugby 20 because you just used to add players and for whatever reason sometimes you, you would be able to win a ruck quite easily, sometimes you wouldn't. It was a bit arbitrary what was happening. This time you can actually choose how many players you're putting in. Adding players to the ruck makes them fight to gain possession of the ball uh, as shown by the gauge. For greater impact when they arrive press forward on the left stick at the right time. Okay, let's give this a go. Am I going to do it for each one then? Or is this going to be... Boosh. Good hit. I quite like this, to be fair. This is a nice little uh, tutorial. Not that I wanted to be doing it, but we've... Uh, we'll turn this into a bit of a tutorial video, I think. That's probably what we'll do. I'll probably have, uh, have spliced this out from the first game. And uh, we'll have a look through this as, a, uh, as tutorials go. Boosh. Straight in there. There we are. Three of three. Does make you do quite a few. It's good to have repetition, but I think once you get the first couple, all right, you probably don't need to do a third one. When adding two players at the same time, the challenge is getting the timing right for each player. Yes, that was one of the things I was going to be wondering. Was it going to be individual or together? So here we go. 
Okay, it really doesn't like you doing them quickly together. It enjoys you keeping a little bit of a gap between them. That's fair enough. Let's go again. But we did get a very dominant ruck there. So if you can get uh, if you get a ruck set up with maybe an isolated player, you could really do some damage uh, starting a ruck. I mean, I, I pushed the stick then a whole bunch of times. <laughs> so a little bit temperamental. Probably going to find in-game that you probably get one uh, person using that rather than, than both individuals. Follow the instructions to place the scrum to try and gain your advantage over the opponent. Okay, cool. So they, I think they've got the same system. Oh, this one actually wants you to push the uh, the thing slightly sooner, and then obviously you uh, try and put the ball put the ball in straight, or try to place it at your hooker's feet. I mean, these bars are so big. I have no idea how you will ever put the ball in straight, given how big those bars are. Uh, following the, how, the target with da -da -da. yep, so it's the same as it was in rugby twenty. You have to follow it along. That circle is very, very non-coloured on the grass. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, or if that is. A design feature, it is very hard to see that blue ball. Maybe that's just for the tutorial. I hope in game that's a little bit brighter. Uh, once the ball's at the back of the heat, yep, we get to knock it backwards. Ball is placed at the, with your number eight. Use that to keep the ball. Yep, so you can either kick it on a little bit, keep the scrum going if you're feeling confident. Uh, like this, you just little nudges forward. Uh, would be nice if there was an animation, maybe just to see the, uh, the number eight actually kicking the ball forwards. Um, Rather than it just sort of teleporting forwards, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Let's uh, keep going. Wow, how far are we got to drive this? If you manage to do this in a game, you've had a good game. <laughs> that was really hard to do in rugby twenty. Right, the lineout. How to perform lineouts by following the instructions. So, uh, pass. Cool. Done. <laughs> the lineout successful sequence. Absolutely. Um, ooh. An X to keep, so that's how you push to the back. X to hold on, that's the same as Rugby 20, that's absolutely fine. And then this, ah, they have kept the feints in. Weird they didn't um, actually display that in the trailer that we got to see. We didn't get to see any faint jumpers, so I, I, I like the idea of the dummy jumpers, right. So we want to go back for one, and then we're going to go back to a normal pass, try and throw off our opponents, those little red dummies there. Uh, where, press Y when the circle is as close as possible to the centre to try and catch the ball. A circle briefly appears if you obtain the ball. Careful not to pass, press it too late. So this is one that I wanted to look at, is whether to actually press this in the blue ring or as close to the Y button as possible. So it must be as close to the centre as possible, and the blue colour is just to show um, where yours is. Maybe if you do it outside of the blue circle, that you actually sort of drop the pass completely. So you've got to try and get it as close to that Y button in the middle as possible. Get it in the green. That's how you win. Oh yes, we're into a mall now. I assume we have to learn about malls, do we? No, we're, we're still going. Here we go. I might just do one outside, just to test. Yes, so if you do it outside the blue circle, you miss the ball completely, someone else will catch it. Great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to fail it. I just wanted to test it. Uh, when two players jump at the right time and, um, and place, right time and place, a duel is launched. If a player fails his jump, the opponent gains the ball. Use that to line up with the opponent. Ah, okay, right. So we actually... I, that was a very hard way to say you need to challenge the jumper. Uh, an opponent is about to jump. Press A, B, or X to contest. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, yes. And then we've got to do the inner line. They got one closer to the, the, the Y than us. They win the lineup. Great. This is what we needed to know. This is how you get the testing in. Press Y as close as possible to the center. Here we go. Into the green. Stolen. Go on, Aaron Smith. <laughs> Making a great break for it. Right. It's getting close here. Uh, whoosh. Oh, a little bit in the green. Oh, we did manage to steal it. Fair enough. I mean, this is technically... Is this pro difficulty still? Or is this just because it's now in the uh, in the training? You can also throw the ball to the back of a line-out with LT and RT. Throw them to the back of the line-out. Press X at the right time to catch the ball. Here we go. 
Oh, good pick up there from Bowden Barrett, and he's away for the try line. No. <laughs> okay, so we didn't score brilliantly. Uh, we did get a bunch of SP points. Now that you've warmed up, it's time for your match. New tutorials will be available after this match, along with the ones you've just completed. You'll be able to do training sessions at any time. Awesome. So that's the training, guys, and that's how it works in Rugby with me now 22. To provide and there we have it, guys. So that is what the training system basically looks like. It's actually relatively useful. I mean, Rugby 20 did it in a very similar way, just taking you through all the new mechanics and stuff. I actually really liked it. The actual line-out system is quite useful to learn about. Did wish they focused a little bit more on malls and just how they work. I know they showed us sort of how to impact the mall, but in terms of running play when we played the actual game, it is a little bit different. The passing system is nice. They've taken it back to judging distance and stuff in terms of passing. It does sort of translate to a live game when you're actually playing, um, but there's certainly a bit to potentially work on there. I think in terms of the overall sort of testing and mechanics of this game has got a lot more sound. They fixed a lot of things. The tackling needs a little bit of work but again, it's day one of release, uh, and for me personally, I would like to see these graphics just sharpen up a little bit. Some of the player character models on the background have this weird blurry aura, which hopefully they fix. I mean, that's not going to be something we'll go over in the tutorial, but I thought it's worth mentioning here. So I hope you've all enjoyed today, guys. This is just a little bit of a look at the training and new mechanics. If you've enjoyed, we will, of course, be doing far more on Rugby 22 over the next couple of days, so make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with all the latest videos as they come out, and if you've enjoyed this one, make sure to drop it a like. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.